Hi there. Welcome everyone to this um, episode of um, Totally Unscripted. So this episode we're, we're looking at what's next in um, Google Apps Script. So uh, hopefully you're aware that uh, Google Cloud Next was um, held recently, um, last month I think it was. Um, and there were a number of sessions um, dedicated to, to Google Apps Script. So we thought it'd be useful to come together and um, just talk about those, see what's coming up. We'll share a link to this uh, slide deck so you can get um, access to all the, the links um, after after the, the show. Uh, but you know, there was a, a lot of lot of sessions um, at Next. But Romain, how how does this compare to previous events? Did you feel it was a, a bumper a bumper conference for App Script? Uh, yes, totally. So, uh, in fact, it was the it's the first time that uh, Google is really serious about uh, this uh, next event. Um, there was a next event uh, last year, but it was really not so crowded. Um, uh, this year, we had uh, yes, uh, ten thousand people, so pretty much like Google I/O. Uh, but uh, if you've been at Google I/O, uh, during the uh, last years, uh, you might have noticed that uh, there were uh, no session at all about app scripts. Um, and so it was very good to have an event dedicated to uh, Google Cloud and J Suite. Uh, and as uh, part of this event, uh, app scripts was um, really present with uh, seven sessions. I've counted maybe other sessions already men uh, also mentioned app script, uh, but those seven sessions were um, uh, focused on, on app script. And um, so first, um, it was interesting to, uh, well, people who were there were able to uh, meet with app script, new app script product manager, uh, Paul McReynolds, um, who um, made a nice presentation um, so that everybody can uh, quickly see what we can do with App Script. Uh, so that's the first uh, link in the presentation in the slide we are seeing now. Um, and at the end of the session, uh, he was uh, nice enough to uh, announce the roadmap. Um, so uh, we will um, uh, talk a bit more about that, but. Uh, it's nice uh, for once uh, to have uh, uh, some information about uh, the uh, future of App Script. And speaking about the future, the fact that we've seen uh, seven different sessions on App Script at Next uh, is also um, a quite good message for the future of App Script. Uh, we've seen that many, many people uh, at, from Google uh, were talking about App Script, and many, many uh, G Suite customers uh, were uh, also uh, discussing it. Um, so uh, about the presentation, uh, we will uh, talk a bit about uh, slice add-ons uh, that were uh, introduced uh, during another session, uh, new Google Docs integration to streamline your workflows. Uh, so we'll talk a bit about that. Uh, Gmail add-ons also, uh, and if you want to look at all the uh, app script videos uh, from Google Next, uh, I will also recommend uh, the session um, uh, building G Suite add-ons with Google App Script, uh, where there was uh, Daniel Flory uh, as guest speaker, and he talked about uh, uh, Ultradox. Uh, Ultradox is a, a product he's uh, managing, and it's not uh, a totally uh, app script product, but it's uh, it has many add-ons. Uh, in fact, one add-on for docs, one for sheets, one for forms, um, letting you um, be, letting him better integrate uh, his Ultradox application uh, with uh, uh, the uh, Google Apps. Um, Sheets, Docs, and Forms. Uh, and I already recommend his presentation. Uh, as an add-on developer or as, as an app script developer, you will see how to um, nicely integrate your app within uh, Docs editors. 
uh, and it's also quite fun uh, his demo to see everything you can do with a, a tool like Ultradox using a lot of different uh, Google APIs. Um, if you are an advanced app script developer, I would also recommend uh, my own talk. Uh, I've been a guest speaker at the event and I talk about um, using uh, Google Stack Driver uh, to log errors and other uh, events um, from App Script uh, to monitor and uh, get some statistics about the uh, usage of uh, your add-on or your uh, web app or uh, whatever you've been, you've been building with App Script. Um, it's a bit advanced uh, as not every App Script developers uh, need, need that, uh, but uh, it's interesting to see uh, the possible integration with App Script and the rest of the Google Cloud platform. Um, and the other talks are uh, mostly interesting um, if you want to see other examples of uh, uh, building um, uh, integration between uh, different uh, Google services using App Script. That's all. It's, it's uh, what, what's um, nice to see as well that, that you know there were a range of sessions so um, for for beginners as well um, up to to advance as um, as you mentioned you mentioned the roadmap so um, let's move on to that so there was um, as Romain mentioned um, Paul the new uh, product uh, manager for um, App Scripts. Um, basically gave an overview so if you haven't seen the session he actually put huge disclaimers at the beginning of it to say um, this is situation and there was no guarantees of this. Anything in particular um, from, um, uh, uh, from from you, Steve, that, that jumped out from, from the roadmap? Oh, I mean, a few things. Um, the Gmail add-ons, I thought that was a, a new innovative way of presenting. Um, in App Script, the simplicity of how to integrate Gmail add-ons specifically, and to see that release this year, I, I wasn't sure about that, so mm. it's slated uh, again with a disclaimer. Um, <laughs> so I was glad to see that because I'm not sure if they're planning to do something similar for other add-ons, because that is the unique framework they're using. I, I thought the um, the reference to export. Um, more explicit OAuth scopes was quite interesting. Um, are, are, are you facing some of the problems I have with people, you know, when they get that um, OAuth flow going up and it's, you know, requesting access to your entire drive? Are you feeling that pain? <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit. Um... For me, it's um, mostly interesting. For example, um, recently I've published a new add-on, uh, which is using the very old um, Picasa Web Album API, yeah. uh, which is still the official uh, Google Photo API. Um, and um, because there's no um, connector, native connector, or advanced service in App Script uh, to interact with this API. I need to use URL fetch for that. Uh, but if I'm able to add the scope for the PKS API uh, directly in App Script, it means that uh, people won't have to re-authenticate, uh, uh, click on a new authorized button, and so on, and I will be uh, it will be possible to use a URL fetch directly with the uh, OS token from App Script rather than handling my own OS flow. And that's, um, for me, it's really great value. How about you, Spencer? Is there, was there anything? Have you had the yeah, chance that, to see that, actually, that was one of the, the, the explicit OAuth scopes is probably one of the things I'm pretty excited about also. Um, because you're right, as, Ro as Romain talked about, is you know uh, when you can't force a specific scope into your project, you have to start rolling your own OAuth, which uh, gives you you know it gives you two different consent screens that the that the users have to go through instead of just a single one when they install it, um, and also when you when it's going through the app marketplace, 
you, they don't explicitly get those OAuth scopes. Um, if you even if you're if you're adding a click event to 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 that, so if being able to add very specific OAuth scopes to your project that you want that they would ask for at the beginning is something that I think has been really needed for a long time. And um, I suppose one of the kind of trends you can pick out from the roadmap is, to me anyway, it looks like becoming more enterprise friendly. I don't, Bruce, do, do you, you know, this is probably more of your your territory. Do, would you agree with that? Or um, do you think it's still um, app script user centric? Yeah. Um, so it's funny that you are mentioning that uh, uh, it's becoming more and more enterprise friendly because um, if I remember well, uh, most of the features um, that we are seeing on the roadmap uh, dedicated to enterprises uh, will in fact uh, be only included uh, uh, in uh, G Suite business. Uh, uh, the uh, standard version of uh, G Suite. So you will have to pay a bit more to be able to uh, have those kind of uh, dashboards um, for admins or for end users. I suppose. Can, can you, hear, can yeah. you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce, on you go. I, actually, I, I would completely agree with what Romain just said. I was just I was about to say, um, <laughs> I think we're going to see two streams. Um, we're going to see the things that are. Um, somehow more professional, if you like, um, and the stuff that I would say the hobbyist would be more interested in, which is some of the territory that App Script has been occupying up till now. Um, one of the things that struck me from the roadmap, and I think it's really good, um, is the professionalization of the development environment. I, f I feel as if you're going to be able to get more, um, you know, proper build build chains, if you like, tool chains to, to build your app that we don't have today. Uh, and it feels it feels very amateur trying to create a project that's more than just um, a container-bound script. You know, you have to do all kinds of weird stuff. Um, and that's not how people develop nowadays. Um, it, it, it is how people develop for doing little things with spreadsheets, but it's not how enterprises develop. So I think that, you know, the two things go hand in hand. If you are going to Come up with something that's kind of like aimed at business users, and there'll be a pr maybe potentially even a premium for. Um, you also have to provide the professional tools on the back end to make you be able to build robust stuff, because you couldn't you couldn't do it with the tools that we have today. So that was one of the great things I saw on the uh, on the roadmap. And in fact, when we went when we went to the meeting in back in November as well, when we talked about that too, I thought that was a really good uh, development. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned about the OAuth flow. I think that's been missing from the beginning. I mean, just being able to to add a scope that you need without having to go into a whole world of complication, I think, is is is, is really good too.